And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lissandra Trundle. This is going to be our first take on a Lissandra deck. Pretty excited about it. This is the new champion from Empires of the Ascended. We got um, a three man two three with tough. Really awesome keyword. And whenever I'm summoned, get a Frozen Thrall. We're going to be playing uh, Frozen Thrall in our deck with that countdown. Eight. If if we get eight turns, now we got an eight eight overwhelm. Um, and if we get uh, two units that cost eight plus mana, you know, two allies that do that, then we get to level up our Lissandra, create a Watcher, which is just insane. You know, attack whenever it attacks, it just obliterates the enemy deck. <laughs> Game over. Um, and does all sorts of other stuff, as I'm sure you, you know by now. So it's going to be exciting to try this out. Um, we're going to be uh, trying it with a, with a bunch of different cards. You can see we have a lot of one-ofs in here because this is going to be like a slower control kind of style deck where there's a lot of these cards that I don't want to draw two of them, but I really want to have access to one of them. Like we have Some of these are just going to be like kind of janky cards to go along with the Watcher that maybe they won't be very good, but we're going to just try them. So like like, for example, if we level up our Lissandra and get the Watcher in hand, you have to, in order to, you know, the Watcher usually costs 17 mana, so you can't cast it. But if you, you have to play four eight plus cost allies before you can, then, then it drops the Watcher's cost to zero. But if you have a Spectral Matron, we can play Spe Spectral Matron, pick the Watcher in our hand, and then just get a copy of the Watcher. And now it's in play, and then we get to attack with it, and they lose the game. So we're gonna, just going to try this. We're also going to try Revitalizing Roar, same thing. If we have a Watcher in hand, we can, and if we're Enlightened, so if we have ten, our 10 mana gems, we can cast Revitalizing Roar, uh, reduce the cost of the Watcher to zero this way. So just a couple of uh, cards there. They're a little janky, but we're going to try them out. Got one It That Stairs in here to be like a, another a fifth Avalanche, where uh, uh, it can be just another eight cost unit to pair with Ice Pillar. Because Ice Pillar is going to be a pretty big part of this of, as far as like getting eight cost units in play. That's why we have Trundle as our other champion with Lissandra. We'll have to just try this out. Um, I guess besides that, a really, really important card in our deck is this Dark Lorne Inquisitor. I really hope we get a bunch of these because um, it will make a Frozen Thrall also. But it's that round end, right? If the countdown of any of your Frozen Thralls is four or less, you just advance it to zero. So you can just skip four turns on your Frozen Thralls with this guy. All right, so let's give it a try. This should be a lot of fun. Hopefully it'll work. Let's go with Lissandra and Lissandra Trundle. Drac Lorne, like I said the first time. <laughs> All right, we got Kindred and Gnosis. We played Kindred and Gnosis yesterday. That was fun. Okay, so we're definitely keeping the Frozen Thrall, and I think I'm just going to mulligan those two spells... And maybe even the Tavern Keeper, too. No, I'll keep Tavern Keeper. I'll, you know what? I'll keep Isle Feast. Yeah, Draclorn, I'm super glad we drew one. This is going to be such an important card in our deck. Alright, got another one. Awesome. I like seeing this too. They're being defensive. Good for us. Um, let's just get the sentry in play. This will allow me to keep two spell mana for Vile Feast. All right, let's count them down. We're already at five and six. Keep this countdown going. Ooh. Lissandra. We will bury the world in ice. So that's, of course, what the uh, Warden's Prey made. No. Do not draw two cards. Okay, so we got our Inquisitor. Oh, Chai, don't you have room for the Frozen Thrall? 
Right, because it puts a Frozen Thrall into play too. No! Deal 7 to a follower? No! I was just too excited. I was too excited. Let's do a Vile Feast <laughs> and the Spider. <clears throat> Could have had another Thrall. And they're just passing? Okay. I mean, that sounds fine with me. Another turn for these. Passing sounds cool. You wanna keep passing? Uh -oh. Um. Well, that's too bad. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Stop killing my three three. <laughs> and Drac just has to chill out. Hey, another Alessandro, let's go! These frozen thralls about to chill out. Alright, let's see. Block. Block. I think I'm playing this It That Stairs. When I level up, create a Watcher. And the Watcher just has C4 total. So we can... Because we can just, like, play... I believe that this should work where I can just play Lissandra like and Watcher like the same turn basically, right? Like I can just wait till like these all pop, play Lissandra, it will level up and make the Watcher. Cause then the Watcher just says if you've summoned four plus allies that cost eight plus this game, and so we've done two. Oh wow, we have the Spectral Matron to go along with the Watcher now. Either way, like, basically, next turn... I'm definitely going to be able to have Watcher next turn. Kind of no matter how I do this. I mean, like, my next attack turn, right? Like, so, like, not, like... Not next round, but in two rounds, my next attack round. And so, if we... So my plan is... Okay, so this round we're going to make the Watcher. The Watcher will cost zero. Next round we'll go Spectral Matron, put the Watcher into play. And then if they go Ruination, or Vengeance, or whatever, kill the Watcher, we'll still be able to cast our zero cost Watcher afterwards, right? So, like, we're, we're going to have two Watchers next turn that will kill them. And so I don't... They can't stop... They can stop one... Theoretically, but they're not going to be able to stop two watchers. So here we go. Let's see some cool animations. Remind the world of true power. Man, that is... That is something else. Have y'all ever, like, wanted... Like, have y'all ever even thought about saying that? Being able to say, I will remind the world of true power. Whoa. Oh no, I don't have room. I don't have room to go Spectral Matron Watcher. How do I never have any room? This is my first time having a tough Nexus. <laughs> I say that after I plug in my computer. No, opponent, why? Why? Their death serves greater purpose. Alright, wanna know. Okay. A Zier deck. No you know, like with Shadow Owls, no like Hecarum, nothing. Like we you know we don't know what the other champion's going to be. Uh, this one's gonna go. I'm gonna keep these. I didn't really talk about Chronicler of Ruin in our deck, but I think that it does... Chronicler of Ruin can do a whole lot. Um, 
you know, we can you can Chronicle of Ruin your Lissandra or your Dark Lauren Inquisitor and get an, an additional Frozen Thrall. Ah. Or you can um, Chronicler of Ruin, like whenever you have a Frozen Thrall that pops and you get the 8-8 eight eight in play, you Chronicler of Ruin the 8-8. Eight eight, and then that's, that's another 8-8 eight eight that um, counts as summoning for Lissandra and the Watcher. You must. Well, this is a pretty aggressive deck. Billy. Pano can just slow it down. The desert by my side. Sand and blood. Ow. <clears throat> they only have two cards left in hand, though. I will bury the world in ice. All right, time to start a frozen thrall countdown. I'm hoping they do not kill this curse keeper. <laughs> but we'll have good. So they didn't kill it to open attack with it. There you are. Yuck. All right, Trundle or Dark Lorn Inquisitor. I guess the Trundle. He's got regen. You know the Inquisitor puts a Frozen Thrall into play and starts that going. Yeah, we played Kindred yesterday. That video is up on YouTube right now. All right, so I'm down to four. Hyper aggro over there. And so this is reveal equal to it, gain life equal to its power. If we do, do go Ice Quake next turn, that would kill my Lissandra. That's a good draw. All right, here's my plan. All right, so we don't heal our Nexus for two. Is that their third Glimpse Beyond? I mean, it's just their second. I guess it's just their second, I think. We don't. So we don't heal our Nexus for the three, but we don't take any damage. So we're, we stay at four. Drain two from the enemy nexus. They slayed something this game? What did they slay? Or did they slay their own thing? Stop. Don't don't drain any more from me. Oh, they, they played Glimpse Beyond. That's what they did. Glimpse Beyond. This looks like this could be kind of a, a strong version of this deck, though, just being really aggressive. Because, yeah, if you have that card that drains and draws, and they have a lot of card draw, and then, you know, you have Doom Beast that drain also. You can get a lot of drain and stuff. Like, this 
This could be a good version of Azir. Yeah, I kind of I feel like I have to revitalizing roar this Dark Lorn Inquisitor this turn. Feel like I gotta do that. Get out here. Wow. It did have Doom Beast, and they did not play it. When they could have, that would have really been problematic for me. Alright, we got a tough Nexus. Okay, opponent gives up our tough Nexus. GG's. Came back. Good job, Lissandra. Rule the Freljord. Rule the Freljord. Oh, so it looks like... I don't know if this is the same opponent. It could be. Could be same opponent. So we know they're going to be super aggressive. Even Trundle's probably a little expensive. Okay. This is kind of weird, because, like, so I want to play this Frozen Thrall to get this countdown started. But if I play the Frozen Thrall, then I can't, like, so then if I go Sentry on turn two, then I don't have Avalanche on turn three, right? Because I don't have the mana for that. So that means I probably can't play this Sentry this turn. And they, in particular, don't really have anything for me to walk. Now they do. I kind of wish I just didn't play this Frozen Thrall. Yeah, they, they are a very, very aggressive deck. And I like it, and then they have a lot of drain effects, also. Yeah, this, this deck looks pretty strong. I'm down to three. That's not very much. Yeah, this was so it, it was just the it was the wrong decision to play the Frozen Thrall. I think that you know I could have had like the Sentry in play instead of the Frozen Thrall, and the, I think this would have helped me. Uh, you know, stabilize and everything. Like this would have would have definitely helped. No, I'm not playing Ice Shard. These old eyes still see far and clear. The order is given. Tell the people what you have seen today. That's obviously pretty bad for me. Okay, we got a mirror match. Trundle Lissandra. 
Looks like our opponent's been playing a bunch of other trundle decks so far. Okay, don't need any of these. Ruination could definitely come in helpful, but I want Frozen Thralls, right? Like, if we got, like, this kind of mirror match, I think it's, you know, the person that's going to dominate the Frozen Thrall battle is going to be the person that's ahead. And so that's what I want is... I want to, I really want to turn one Frozen Thrall and... Unfortunately, which we found, but unfortunately my opponent found it also. So I want Frozen Thrall, I want Lissandra. Hmm. There's Lissandra. All things grow cold. Secrets hidden by frost. Plans within plans. I mean, so my best play is definitely Draclorn, but they may. Okay, as I was gonna say, they may be able to kill the Draklorn. It is time for you to prove yourself, my warrior. I dare not serve any other. Alright. We got the 8-8 first. Good job, Draklorn. Okay. Well, thank you. I will just block. Pass the turn. King of trolls, really? Not that was the plan. Can see the Nebastian border from here. That could get a vile feast, which would be the worst case scenario for me. Okay, an avalanche. Ooh, atrocity. She sees all. I think I'm just attacking. And if they have something that does like one damage to the Draclorn, right? Like I'll grasp the Undying and kill the Lissandra. Yeah, deal one to everything. Deal one to everything. Um. Okay. I'm gonna... Based on when this happened, because I want, I'm gonna have my Tavern Keeper heal my Draclorn. I'm worried about my Draclorn dying. I guess they're going to start playing these Ice Pillars to level up Lissandra. So I'm going to have to grasp this next turn. Cerilda. I could have played it that stairs. And that would have leveled up my Lissandra and I could have done like... I don't know. Destroy their landmarks, but boo. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. One turn away from. <clears throat> being enlightened.
Yeah, it looks like they're going to be able to watch her before me. Probably. Well, they, they have to have another 8 plus cost thing, but... Looks like they're going to be able to do that first. Yeah, we could just be going for the Ledros Atrocity. Um, I think that's... I think that's my best play. Now their watcher costs zero. Well, I gotta hope that they don't have anything that stops my atrocity for the Ledros. Looks like they got me. So if they have, yeah, I mean, if they just if they just have vengeance or atrocity um, or any way to heal their nexus, I'm just like, I'm just pretty dead to kind of everything. I don't really know why they would spend mana, but maybe they will. No, they're not going to. They're smart. Well. I think I need to... I need to play this Hit That Stairs on turn 8 and, obl and obliterate the landmarks. I needed to do that and obliterate their landmarks, keep them from... Lissandraing. Whoa, it worked! No vengeance! No vengeance, no atrocity on their part. No harsh winds, vengeance, or atrocity. It worked. <laughs> yeah, that ending was very degenerate. Just, all right, your deck's obliterated. Okay, now your your whole your nexus is destroyed. Yeah, definitely a very degenerate ending. Okay, so we're a puff. Okay, playing against puff caps. You're definitely gone. Um, I think I keep the rest. Yeah, they could have three sisters flash freeze, that's true. Man, not a good start. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. What will you have? Get out of here, peddler. Cause that card is busted. I guess I'm going Inquisitor over Trundle. Yeah, I'm gonna get get the Frozen Thrall countdown started. I don't know if I'll even have time for it. It could end up being a negative for me. Vengeance of Peddler? Yeah, Peddler is the best card in their deck. Of course I'm going to Vengeance it. It's like the only scary card. Alright, we need a tough Nexus. All right, so they figured that out. One shot, all skill.
is akin to the savior of all. A true Felyorian welcome. Lame. Let's take this outside. I feel like that just kind of gives them an out to like using, you know, like a flash freeze troll chance, you know, something like that. I was gonna say using a card in their hand to get, get rid of another card in their hand. This game's all gonna be like I win this game by the watcher, right? Like I'm not gonna be able to win this game by damage with all the the flash freeze type effects they have and everything. I'm not winning this game by damage. I'm winning this game by the Watcher. Yeah, Sentry doesn't help me. Yeah, a lot of cards in my hand don't really help me. <laughs> I would like to find my 8-mana card that destroys landmarks, I think. Maybe destroy this foundry? I don't know. These, I hate these chunk, these chump bombs. Like that's why you have to kill Peddler, right? Because it's these. Ah, oh, atrocity would have been useful. It's these puff caps that are gonna kill us. All right, good. We get to do some blocking. I imagine, you know, like, so they get to choose, like, which one of these they want to Mystic Shot and kill. I would imagine it's Trundle, but, you know, maybe it's one of the other two. Okay. It's the Draclorn. They're scared of the Draclorn. That obviously just means I'm going to play my own new Draclorn. I'm worried about that Lissandra. Yeah, but... So we can Tavern Keeper the Lissandra, but then... That is, like, that Tavern Keeper would be really useful as far as saving my Nexus later. But I guess I kind of just have to. Tavern Keeper this thing. Alright, am I, am I going to want to cast this Ruination... Possibly. It's possible I want to cast this Ruination next turn and then go like Draclorns afterwards. Because Draclorn won't won't affect this turn or the next turn. I, I don't need to play this Draclorn yet. Let's get another Ice Pillar. Yeah, I think there's a really good chance that by now they're going to be playing another. They're going to be playing Peddler, right? Like it's it's been like a long time. Like they got to have like Peddler in hand, right? They're just not playing Peddler. I mean, they are Flash Freeze, Fury, or Entomb. I was gonna say that they are man that's that's too bad that's the the level up Ezreal I was about to do the avalanche fast of 
vile piece here. I was going to say that they're, they're a fairly deck. They're going to be able to protect Ezreal, but once they tapped out, I was like, that's perfect. Never mind, not so perfect. I'm, I'm really, I was really considering going like the Frozen Thrall and the Ice Pillar, and then like Sentry over the Frozen Thrall, and then Avalanche. I really considered doing that. Because of course I, I need cards, cards out of my hand. But I, I also don't really want another Frozen Thrall in play because of like Feel the Rush, right? Like I don't really want one more in play because of that card. The minus three would still keep the Ezreal from striking me, even if they keep the Ezreal alive with troll chants and stuff. That puts me down to three. Probably dead to um, probably dead to stuff to puff caps. Well, that that's a good draw. Can keep me alive from one burn spell. That's still sixteen. Gosh. All right, <laughs> they're still alive. Frostbite is rough. I have to play this Grass of the Undying. Or no, 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 no. That's not Grass of the Undying. There we go. Yes. Revitalizing roar. Come on, work. Come on, work. Okay. That's big time. That was big time. I'm not going to kill Teemo with this avalanche. It's just not going to work. They they definitely have Elixir of Iron or Troll Chant. I can, I can try, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try, but it's not going to work. Okay, and we'll be able to open attack again. So we have 28 puff caps for 16 cards. I don't know why they didn't just play that first before attacking. They, they could have gave me another six or another three puff caps. 
What? Why are they playing their spells before attacking? Gave me more, more. Why? Why did they not give me more puff caps? I could have forty instead of sixteen. No, one. Okay, we'll take one. One. Okay. Awesome. They both only had one. There we go. Man, that was so close. What a clutch revitalizing roar draw. Two incredibly close ones there, our last two. That was a crazy game. All right, so we ended up going four and one with our Lissandra Trundle. Definitely played some really close games. We got fortunate in some different spots there. Uh, that was really, really close. Um, as we're kind of like watching through those games, um, we did notice that like our board would get full really fast with these fours and frozen thralls because we have these. Lissandra makes the frozen thrall. Your Dark Lord Inquisitor makes frozen thrall. Your board gets fast. It gets filled super fast. Um, I do like these. I do like these one drops though, with um, because because like the one drop, you know, it gets the countdown started on turn one, which is pretty important. So that by the time you get the Draclorn, if you played it on turn one, by the time you get the Draclorn, you're gonna have your frozen thrall before, and I think that's really important. So I, I like the I like them in here, but it's kind of like you you try to you almost like try to have like five things in play maybe before you like play Draclorn so that you don't get an additional Frozen Thrall with Draclorn. Like, that's actually, you know, like that Draclorn getting a Frozen Thrall can kind of be bad um, as far as filling your board goes. Uh, let's see. Um, I would not play Go Hard over Vile Feast. No, not at all. You could play Unspeakable Horror if you want, um, you know, if you don't want the spir Spiderling, you can play Unspeakable Horror, but no, do not play. I would not play Go Hard, I don't believe. I think Unspeakable Horror probably better than that. But I liked it. Like, these 1-0s were clutch, right? Like, good thing we had an Atrocity. It won us a game. Good thing we had a Revitalizing Roar. It won us a game. Um, it That Stairs would have been awesome at one point of, like, destroying some landmarks, dealing two. But, you know, it was pretty good. I think, um, you know, in, in the uh, the other, the Mirror Match, I felt like I needed to play the It That Stairs um, on the turn eight, even though I didn't. But it was cool. Spectral Matron, definitely a little bit more janky than the rest. But I wanted to try it out, and it was just fine. I am a big fan of Grass of the Undying, and it was awesome. This metagame, though, um, with like these Sand Soldiers, maybe you need. I don't. I don't really like the the three mana Ice card that much. The deal one to everything. I don't really like that card that much. I think I'd rather have Withering Wheel, heal my Nexus for three, and then only deal one damage to their stuff. Because I don't want. I don't want my Nexus to take one damage, right? Like I. I don't want that. So I don't really like that. Uh, whatever this card's called, the Ice Shards as much. In this kind of deck, I think I'd rather play Withering Whale. But uh, let's see. Chronicler of Ruin was pretty cool. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's that's our deck. It's uh you know, it's a first first try, right? Like we're still experimenting with a lot of different cards. That's what we're doing here with the uh, new expansion out. Um, uh, Feel the rush, yeah. We with how wide our board always was with the with the uh, different um, frozen thralls it did make it really difficult to have two spots for field of rush so this this could probably be replaced with something else you know maybe you just want like a second ledro second atrocity second revitalizing roar right like like the atrocity revitalizing roar ledros part of our deck all looked pretty good maybe you just want to focus more on those and maybe you get rid of the matron and the field of rush and you kind of go towards those cards instead and i could i could definitely see that that could that could be an upgrade um, you know, like we we're trying out those stuff, but I liked the atrocity roar ruination. So I could see doing that. Um, but there we go. But that's anyway, anyway, that's it here for Lissandra Trundle. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, uh, leave those comments. Also, if you tried the deck out, let me know what you think. Um, you know, like, uh, feel free to, you know, maybe, maybe get rid of the spectral matron in the field of rush and play more Ledros atrocity revitalizing roar. That's cool too. Let me know what you think about that. Um, also just what other kind of decks are you playing with Lissandra? I'd like to hear about that. Yeah. What else are you doing with Lissandra? All right. But that's all I got here for Lissandra Trundle. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.